In this episode, I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful epoxy countertop for our bathroom. We have the purpose, but to take that leap, you must recognize the that's inside. Hey Roamers, I'm Jamie, and we've been renovating our 2001 Holiday Rambler motorhome. This week I've been replacing all the flooring, and if you want to see more about that, go ahead and check out last week's video, and I will be uploading the completion of that soon. We received a lot of questions about the countertop that I created for our bathroom, so I put this video together. I really enjoyed creating it, and I want to show you what I did from start to finish so you can create it yourself. If you haven't already subscribed, Make sure and do that now, and just as important, make sure and ring that bell so you'll be notified each time we upload a new episode. The reason we're changing out the bathroom sink first and the countertop is because last time we went out, we realized that the cold water side of the faucet is leaking. So instead of paying to fix something that we're gonna replace, we're gonna change out the countertop, the sink, the faucet. It's gonna be all new, and then eventually we're gonna paint the cabinet underneath but first we're going to get rid of this and just cutting the silicone or the caulking here where the counter meets the wall that way I'm not pulling any of the, the wall with me when I go and pull this counter up. just as easy as that. And there you go. It's all pulled up, one piece. Minimal amount of, really no damage at all on the wall over here. And I got the sink and everything all intact. So, so I was looking for my helper. And guess where he's at? He's here laying in the sun. Almost falling asleep. Oh, Dexter boy. What do you have to say for yourself, buddy? Huh? What do you have to say for yourself, little Dexter boy? You tired of helping? Yeah. So now we need to remove this sink. Get this out of the way so that we can use this uh, top as a template for the new, the new countertop. So guys, like I said, I went and picked up my MDF, three quarter inch MDF. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm using the old counter as a template. So we're gonna go ahead and trace it out. As you can see, I ran all my strips on the bottom to be able to create my uh, bullnose for the countertop. Um, I got them all glued on and nailed. Um, I have routed those, so I created my profile. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but what I did is I rounded it over, half inch round over, so it creates a nice rounded bull nose kind of look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand it, and then I'm going to clean up in here so I don't have any dust, and then I'm going to put a couple, couple of coats of that uh, paint on, the natural gray, and then after that, we are going to uh, start doing the, the texture technique. The next step in the process is I have to trace a template for my sink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cardboard that I had in the garage and I'm going to trace a, actually trace the sink itself and then what I'm going to do is on that line, once I draw that line, I'm going to move in about three quarters of an inch and then cut it on that line so that uh, I have enough lip there for the sink to sit on. So I'm going to do that now. So this is the new sink we're installing. It's called hammered nickel. We thought this would look really nice. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do a nickel faucet as well. So, so I'm just gonna trace this outside edge, like I said. And then I'll move in three quarters of an inch from there and then cut it on that, that line. Well, I got my template drawn out. Now what I need to do is uh, draw that onto the new countertop. One thing that I did do is I uh, went to the old countertop to determine where the location of the sink should be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw, draw myself some lines here. 
so that I know where to put my template so that the sink will be sitting in the correct area when I go to reinstall the new countertop in the motorhome. So I'm going to do that now. So I've used my template to establish where the location of the sink has to go. Next step is I'm going to drill a hole and then I'm going to cut this out with my jigsaw. Now we're at the step where we do our paint technique. Um, I got these texture paints, they're Rust-Oleum uh, texture paints. I got these at Home Depot. Um, so what I'm gonna do with those is I'm gonna shoot them on here, but I'm gonna uh, leave it kind of sparse because I want it to be speckled so it looks more kind of like granite or style stone. I don't want to cover, cover the complete thing, then you won't see the natural gray underneath. So we just want to create some speckles and some uh, variation in colors and then once we do that I'll let it dry and then I'm going to do my float coat of my epoxy over top of it and that's what's going to bring the color out and make it look kind of like granite where it's kind of glossy and real clear looking so that's going to be this step so I'm just at this point I'm going to start with my the dark brown color then I'm going to follow up with the bleached stone and then last I'm going to do the sienna so that's the next step here so we're going to go ahead and get that started. So I'm using the step stool so that I can get high enough away, um, otherwise I'll get too much on here. So I want to be about 16 inches above to give it a nice speckle, otherwise if I'm too low I'm going to get way too much material and I don't want that. So. Okay, and we just do the same step with the bleach stone. Okay, so that looks really good. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it dry. I got to let it dry roughly about four or five hours um, because if you touch it too soon, this stuff will just spread all around. So we've got a nice speckled look. It looks really good. The texture paint is dry, and here's what the final product looks like. Um, with the three colors, three different uh, colors that I chose, gave it a really nice look as far as uh, variations in color. Uh, like I said, I used the mineral brown, the bleach stone, and also the sienna. Um, with all three of those, it really, like I said, it really gave it a nice look. Um, but this isn't the finished product. Once I put my epoxy on there, it's going to be, it's really gonna bring that color out and um, really make it kind of stand out with that thick clear coat on there. Uh, the other thing that I had to do is I had to level out my countertop. Uh, because this is self-leveling epoxy, we wanna make sure that it's level, otherwise um, it won't level out correctly. So I got that all leveled out. My next step is I'm going to uh, mix up my epoxy and then apply that, and I'm gonna do two coats. I'm gonna do the first coat, let that cure, and then come back and do a final coat, and that'll give me a nice, thick, um, deep, clear look. So, um, I'm using Famo Wood uh, Glaze Coat. I got that from Home Depot. Um, use equal parts of part A and part B to make the correct consistency. So, and then you have to have three uh, buckets here, so I have the first bucket you'll put uh, equal amounts of uh, part A and part B in the first container you mix it for six minutes you pour the entire contents into the second container stir it for another six minutes and then pour that again into the third container and that'll be used to do your pour uh, then you pour the entire contents onto the uh, countertop uh, we're gonna spread it with this spreader right here so I'm gonna spread it around evenly and then for the edges, I'm going to be using a foam brush. So now I'm going to uh, apply my epoxy. 
So I'm going to kind of spread it around here and then I'm going to use my spreader and spread that around evenly. And now once we get it uh, spreaded like I did, um, I spread it and then I chopped it. You saw me chopping it. That basically uh, makes sure that we got complete coverage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to torch it. I'm going to torch it three times. Um, so I'm going to torch it. And when you torch it, you want to make sure not to get too close because you can burn, burn the epoxy. So we just want to go over it quickly. You know, I can already see it, it's laying out like glass. It's gonna be really pretty and it's really bringing out that color. Here comes the new countertop. Maybe. It's gonna run me over. This video was about the fabrication of the countertop. What I did after the countertop had cured, I mounted the faucet onto the sink and then I ran a half inch bead of silicone around the, the hole where the sink was gonna mount and then I laid the sink onto that bead of silicone. And then I let that cure overnight and the silicone is basically what holds the sink onto the countertop. There are no undermounts on that sink. It just gets held down by the silicone. I mounted the countertop by running a half inch bead of liquid nails on top of the cabinet surface and then laid the countertop on top of that. And then once that cured, that held it into place. How do you feel about it? Huh? How do you feel about it? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm just tired. I'm tired. Okay, She's so in. <clears throat> now it's got to get glued. Look at how it shimmers. I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. I've included links down in the description for all the products I use for this project. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to smash that bell so you'll be notified each time we put out a new video. Thanks for watching. Okay, rumors, let's wrap it up.